All right. Hey, everybody. Um, so, welcome to the Disney Home Media Collection Edition. And here, uh, we're going to show it again and So for this part, we will be looking at the RKO Radio Pictures releases that Disney were to that Disney released. And Here we go. As as requested, we're just going to show off the releases and not really explain the previews this time. Hey, Flicka, how are you? I'm doing great. How about you? Great. Anyway. At least we know what, what to do the films in order, but... At least we got to start off with the first Disney animated feature, that'd be Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, right? Yeah, which I have four different copies of on VHS. Yeah, then I'll show the Blu-ray after that. And this is the very first Disney full-length animated feature ever made. Yep, we all know back in 1937. Yeah. This tape has an ink label. Print date's a very early printing from May 27th, 1994. And this was released on October 28th of 1994 as the first release to be part of the Masterpiece Collection editions that replaced the Walt Disney Classics editions. And yes, because we all know the Black Diamond Classics went all the way up to 1994 early. Yeah. And the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection lineup started from 1994 with this tape and ended in 1999, a couple of months before Dragon Tales premiered. Here's this copy, which is printed on June 1st, 1994.
and this one also as an ink label printed on June 28, 1994. A few months before it was supposed to be actually released in October. And here is the latest printing of the tape. And this also has an ink label. Print date is October 20th, 1994 this time. So, yeah, even though I'm not really going to explain the previews, I'm just going to give you a little fun facts. Earlier copies actually featured the Walt Disney Home Video logo from 1986 with Sorcerer Mickey, while later copies featured the newly introduced Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo. And I also have the Blu-ray, if you don't have any versions of Snow White other than the four VHS versions. If you don't have any other copies, I'll show you the Blu-ray fast. No. So I do want to get... Okay, I, I do have the Signature Collection version from 2016 on Blu-ray, which does contain the... This does has the logo fixed with RKO Radio Pictures logo has been fixed on this Blu-ray. But on the VHS, it just features the Walt Disney Pictures logo before the film starts. Yeah, I think the 4K might have fixed that has the little thing with the logo at the beginning too. Well, anyway. Yep. And okay, next up we think we go next to Pinocchio. Yep. The second Disney animated feature. Released back in 1940 or it's either 1939 or 19 I'll try because Fantasia came a while after that in 1940. And I have four different copies of the 1993 VHS. Now, what makes this VHS incredibly awkward is that it says Walt Disney's masterpiece on the spot front and the spine and on the tape label, but this is actually a Walt Disney Classics release because it was released in 1993 and the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection lineup didn't even exist yet until late 1994. It's like, what an odd choice to do that. Because it's like how, well, I'm trying to think of something else. Like, you know how, like, the uh, Thomas, well, on some Thomas releases, the, um, I try to think of a Thomas release that does that because you know how, like, the, uh, Anchor Bay logo is featured on the back cover of these Thomas VHSs, even though the Anchor Bay logo was not introduced until Thomas was right. to get along 1998 VHS. So like, oh, you, you, I, oh, I see what you're saying. Those early yes, Anchor Bay releases featured the Video Treasures logo. Yeah, because Video Treasures changed to Anchor Bay in 1998. Yeah. It actually changed to Anchor Bay in 1995. However, we didn't get a logo for Anchor Bay till 1998. Oh. Yeah, but it because and this is also similar to that. Why would they put Masterpiece even though the the lineup didn't start till 1994? A year after that, VHS well, came out. Which is my my guess is they were going to be Walt Disney Classics editions until they decided to change it at the very last minute when they decided to make this really special. But this. Because this is a 1993 VHS, and this actually does have the Walt Disney Classics logo on it, too. And print date's January 23rd, 1993. That's just the first copy I have. And here's this one. Label, print date, January 25th, 1993. If we all know January 1993 was before the Thomas media released Thomas Bruce and the Dragon came out on VHS this originally. This was originally released on VHS on March 26th of 1993. 
Okay, so that was a month after Toss Piercing the Dragon Home Media release came out to the U.S. This copy does not have Sorcerer Mickey next to the Walt Disney Home Video logo in the label. And the print date's February 25th, 1993. And finally, this copy. And same label print date is... This one actually has two print dates. One at the top reads April 4th, 1993, and the one at the bottom reads December 27th, 1992. Recycle, well, not a recycle tape, but just a, a, I want to say it's. We're not exactly done with Pinocchio just yet. Well, well, I do have the Blu-ray, but that, we have to show the releases in order, technically. Well, I mean, you've only got, you have another VHS. I have another version of Pinocchio that I have another release of Pinocchio, but it's not on VHS. Or but, DVD. But... I see it's a laser disc. Yes. Now, the weird thing about those laser discs is that a lot of those Walt Disney Classics editions of of on laser disc, like this laser disc of Pinocchio, do not feature the Walt Disney Classics logo cuz some of them actually feature the Standard 1986 Walt Disney Home Video logo with Sorcerer Mickey. This laser disc included. They. Well, some of those laser disc releases did use the Walt Disney Classics logo, but, but beginning around 1992, they gradually stopped using that and they switched over to the Walt Disney Home Video logo on those laser discs. Probably because they didn't want to use the distorted Walt Disney Classics logo from those VHS releases released between 1992 and 1994. But, okay, now we go straight... Well, and here's the Blu-ray copy of Pinocchio I have, which which is the 2017 version, which they do have that error fixed where Jimmy Cricket does say right. All of the versions don't do that. Your VHS copies don't do that. Neither the plain DVD versions do that. Yeah, and the VHS of Pinocchio, that has the Buena Vista logo as well as the Laserdisc. But this one does have the logo, does have the logo error fixed on this one where the Archeo Radio Pictures logo does show up. Yeah. And now, we get into... The third animated feature. Which I know what it start what well, I know what it came out, I know what it's what the name of it's called, Fantasia. And, and this came out in late nineteen forty. And I have two different copies of it. Here is this one. Yep, that's Cool, it's in a blackish clamshell case because usually and all this same thing happens here where it says Walt Disney's masterpiece on the front, the spine, and the back, and the tape label, even though this is a 1991 VHS. And the masterpiece collection didn't even start till three years later in October of 1994. And this is from November of 1991. Plus, it has the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo. This is actually considered to be a fourth wall break for Disney because Mickey Mouse is in this Sorcerer's Apprentice outfit in the film itself, and he appears in the Walt Disney Classics logo at the beginning before the film starts. Fourth wall. Even though I consider fourth wall breaks when the characters look at the audience, for, but...
but you know exactly what I mean, but... This has an ink label. Print dates, May 28, 1991. This came out on November 1st, 1991, originally. Yep, I'm just holding on until we get to Dumbo eventually. Here is this copy, basically the cool. same. Label is the same. Print date's November 2nd, 1991. Printed just one day after it was officially released. Yeah, and speaking of... Oh, yeah. And I of course, have the laser disc release from nineteen ninety one. Now, the laser disc release of this. A Fantasia actually does feature the Walt Disney Classics logo, just like the VHS. Compared to Pinocchio, which used the Walt Disney Classics logo on the VHS and the Walt Disney Home Video logo on the Laserdisc. And this one is... This one comes with three sides on the laser disc because it's a very long film because most laser discs have two sides this one has three because of how long this is yeah I mean, you know, I mean, i'm not a big fan of laser discs like i don't buy those i rather stick with an actual physical media release of a movie with Now, just keeping an eye on what comes next. I'll just, I'll just now, hold Dumbo right by my, right by me, just in case if that if that's next. But if not, we got something else before Dumbo. Now we get into Dumbo. Oh, we do. Okay. Well, this is the Blu-ray version which we got to show after. You got to show that VHS version. I. From, this is one of the two VHS versions I have. This is the Walt Disney Classics Edition. That one does look pretty cool. I think I want to get the masterpiece version from the the early '90s. 1994, you're talking about. I do have that yeah. VHS too, which I'll show you that after I show you this. Yeah, and yeah, I think that's just a little price sticker on the outer sleeve because I think it came from someone else's. Someone bought it from a store originally. And that's my, that is my I guess. This one has a sticker label. Print date is February 25th, 1991. The 1991 packaging is inside. The 1991 case is used, but the 1988 tape is inside of it. That's strange. And as a result, it uses the 1984 Classics Walt Disney Home Video cheesy black diamond logo instead of the Walt Disney Classics logo with Sorcerer Mickey. And anyway... We get to another VHS version of yours of Dumbo. Here is the 1994 Masterpiece Collection Edition. Yes, and I think you said the rules before. Yes, Disney Direct Video sequels are allowed to be shown as well. Disney Direct to Home Media sequels. Yes. But I don't have any from this from this era, Bambi 2, which, well, we're not there yet. Hold on. Now, this was released on VHS October 28, 1994. Yep. Just like with Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, this was released in 1941, of course. And this has an ink label, and the print date's February 12, 1995. Oops. Camera shifted up, guys. Pardon that. 
Wait, wait. Well, this camera moved up a, a bit, guys, but... Alright. And, and here's my... Oh, yeah, if you have another version of Dumbo to show, I can hold the Blu-ray out of the... Uh, no, I don't have any more versions of Dumbo besides those two VHS versions. And, yes, don't have the Tim Burton live-action remake from 2019 yet. Yeah, because I prefer the animated features over the live-action ones. Yeah, it means you haven't seen this or a live-action Beauty and the Beast. Or... Well, well, I... That doesn't mean I haven't seen those live-action features. I have seen some of them, like the dumb... I've seen The Jungle Book, I've seen Beauty and the Beast, I've seen The Lion King, I've seen Aladdin. Okay, well anyway, here's my Blu-ray of Dumbo from 2011, because the film came out originally in 1941, but this Blu-ray is from 2011, 70th Anniversary Edition. Well, it's, it's yeah. 65th Anniversary, it would have been in 2006, because I want to get that big top edition shiny disc from 2006 to put in this Blu-ray combo pack. I found out that they were originally going to make a fully restored limited edition VHS of Dumbo in 1997, but it was cancelled at the last minute. Or 1996, because you know, come on, 1996 would have marked its Dumbo's, well... 55th anniversary. Yeah, but unfortunately they never made a anniversary VHS, but they made a VHS anniversary in 2001, and as well as a DVD counterpart, which I don't have that counterpart yet. Well, at least the next film got a 55th anniversary limited edition, uh, which, speaking of the next film, I'm going to go get it. I have three classics editions and two Masterpiece collection copies of the next film. Which released in 1942's Bambi. Well, it doesn't say anywhere on the... Well, you just show it off, and when we get to the back cover, we'll explain something. First, we'll look at this copy. If I had this for the longest time. Yep, it kind of throws me back to my childhood when my grandma had one of those Flicka. She had this along with the VHS of Dumbo and Snow White and Toy Story. Yes. And... And, well, and also in the next two weeks, Flicka, you can do the... You can do the... Disney Home Media Collection stream doing the Bona Vista titles from Laying the Tramp to Fox and the Hound because next week I'm because next week I'm doing and then after that after the Buena Vista titles I'm going to be uh, doing titles with the Walt Disney Pictures logo that are not Pixar related yes even, well, we'll see in a minute, but yeah, Bambi, yeah, sorry, we This just, one has a sticker label, it's a little bit torn here. But the tapes, the ta at least the tape works, which is good. Yes, it does. Thankfully, it does. And... Here is another copy of the Walt Disney Classics Edition. Yes, we know... It came out in somewhere time in the 80s. September 28th, 1989 is when it was released. Yep, and there's, an, there's the same one. Tape, Sticker label, label. Yeah, it's in much better condition here. And here is the third copy. This has a st sticker label as well, and and this copy has yellow reels, unlike my uh, my previous two, which had white. Yeah, I think the, the the reels got a little yellowed. I think. Um, yeah, those are the three classics editions that I have. And I have the masterpiece collection too. The two Masterpiece Collection editions, which are the fully restored 50th anniversary editions. And, and yes, where it doesn't say on the back cover of the 1997 VHS that this is Walt Disney's fourth animated feature film, or rather its fifth. Or, wait. Fifth. 
It's fifth. Yeah, it doesn't say anywhere that it's its fifth animated feature film, but we know this is the fifth one. And here are the two copies of the fully restored 55th anniversary limited edition VHS that I own. As yeah, you know, mine's... 55th anniversary limited edition was released on February 4th, 1997. I do have one of these VHS for Uriens of Bambi right here. It says a perennial... And of course, um, this features a featurette right after the film is over, and it's called Bambi, the Magic Behind the Masterpiece. And of course... Yeah, this this has a featurette called Bambi, the magic behind the masterpiece that comes up right after the film. And this has an ink label. Print date on this copy is December 10th, 1996. So this is an early printing. Mine's printed on January 28th of 1997. So this this makes me want to believe this was a while before. So I'll say this January twenty eighth, nineteen ninety seven, marked a while before the Thomas release sing along and stories hit VHS. And here is this copy. This basically has the same casing and same label. Print dates December twelfth, nineteen ninety six. Here. Oh, didn't mean to pull the tape out, but we know it. It's the same old copy. Yes, this was actually the first. Masterpiece Collection VHS to be THX certified. Yeah, because the the uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame was probably the second, maybe? Actually, actually, the second VHS to be THX certified was Fun and Fancy Free. Those new films, like the Hunchback of Notre Dame and Hercules and Mulan, they were not THX certified. Oh. Oh, it's just because of these these classic anime Disney films, because they got THX certified. Because well, anyway, there's also a 2005 Platinum Edition VHS and DVD of Bambi, but I don't have that. Uh, yeah, and for some reason, the 2005 VHS, even though it is THX certified, it does not have the THX logo. That's kind of like with the 2005 VHS The Incredibles, because well, anyway, here's my Bambi. Well, if you have. Oh yeah, this is the 2017 version of Bambi, kind of like with Pinocchio, where this one, the Archeo Radio Pictures logo, is restored. And... I think we're done with Bambi, but I think we have to figure out what comes after that. We gotta see if we got even, the reluctant... Even though you might have shown the Blu-ray edition first, um... Well, even though, because I like... Because Blu-rays... But... But at least our thing is actually working really good. I don't see any. At least you're, you're. You're. I didn't hear your voice go muted. But this has. But this is a laser disc release from 1997. And the weird thing about those Disney laser discs, especially the ones released between 1996 and 1999, is that a lot of them have the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, but with the distorted 1992 Walt Disney Classics music playing over it, this Laserdisc is one of them, along with That's my Laserdisc copies of the Jungle Book from 1997, along with the Aristocats, the Hunchback of Notre Dame, Pocahontas, um, Sleeping Beauty, etc., and that yeah, is yeah, yeah. Weird here because because the VHS releases, most of those VHS releases released around this time have the correct masterpiece collection music, but not on the Laserdisc releases. They had the classics jingle. Okay, let's see if we come. Something comes next after Bambi. If we see if we got Salus Amigos for the Three Caballeros, or Make My All Music right. or Melody Time, or if we got the Reluctant Dragon or something. Well, at least I know. Make My Music came out in 1946. Melody Time is from 1948. Here, so, here, so make... The next one I have 
The Three Caballeros. The film originally came out in sometime in the USA. It came out in the USA in nineteen early nineteen forty five. Oh, okay, because we don't we follow the US timeline or but yeah, I don't I'm gonna get the Blu ray ex club exclusive version of that and this prequel now, Salute Us Amigos together. The weird thing about this VHS release is that it's got Donald Duck in a profile picture in a diamond, but this is not a Walt Disney Classics release. Because if 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 it was a Walt Disney if there was a Walt Disney Classics release, if there is a Walt Disney Classics release, if any title is a Walt Disney Classics release, it would feature the Classics Diamond and then the Walt Disney Home Video text going down across it on the spine. But this doesn't have it, so this is a standard Walt Disney Home Video release. That's very strange if you ask me. It's... This also happens on one of my VHS copies of Mary Poppins, which I will show for part two. This has a sticker label. And the print date is June 27th, 1991. I hope I can see your face while I'll... Well, let's just keep going. Let's please keep... Well, at least, the, at least I can hear your voice still. At least that I it matters as I can hear your voice. So let's just... Well, let's if just, I move around to get different tapes, you can at least see me a little bit. Well, okay. Well, at least we got through... At least I can still hear you, which is good. At least the thing didn't mute, which is good. And I switched over to the Lucky Luigi hat. I was, I was doing Mario to be on the safe side, but... Now that everything's working good, since we're not explaining previews, I changed to Luigi's hat. Yeah. By the way, let's get to the next release. Well, well at least we know the three Caballeros, and then we got to see if... The next one I have is a 1994 Masterpiece Collection Edition. Okay. I don't have that VHS version. I don't... 1994. Yeah, like I said, I want to get this in the combo pack of Club Exclusive Blu-ray with this and its prequel, Salutus Amigos. This was originally intended to be like a propaganda film from the 1940s, but but this, at least it has Donald Duck as one of the main stars in here, just like with Melody Time, which I don't have. You know, I saw a VHS, but I think don't know if you can get those on DVD, Melody well, Time. Or, I mean, I, at least I know you can get them on DVD because the DVDs are like the common thing to find. I mean, I, I this doubt is the they are. Label, and the print date is May 9th, 1997. And so, yeah, that's the Masterpiece Collection Edition of the Free Caballeros. This is actually a 1996 VHS, even though it is printed in 1997. Well, a 1996 printing of the 1994 VHS, even though it is printed in 1997, it's a 1996 print. Okay, but let's see. Next one would be Make My Music and Melody Time, but you don't have those. I think we go straight to either something else, like Fun and Fancy Free, or or if we have to show something else bonus, because like we're trying to combine everything in the, these parts. Here is I had two different copies of the Masterpiece Collection Edition of Fun and Fancy Free, the fully restored 50th anniversary limited edition. Yep, because we know all the, fil the film came out in 1947 originally. Yep. Mickey was Walt and Walt was Mickey. This features an exclusive making of bonus programming right after the film is over. I used to have that VHS, but I decided to get rid of it because I wanted to get in the combo pack with now, the Adventures of Adventures of Thinkabot and Mr. Toad. Because it also comes with the Reluctant Dragon in it, so I could have it on Blu-ray. Now, beginning with this VHS, the THX logo would say Lucasfilm Limited, unlike the VHS of Bambi, which said Digitally Mastered. And this has an ink label with a print date of 
May 22nd, 1997. This came out on, I, I, this came out on July 15th, 1997, I believe. July 15th, 1997 is when this was released. And here's another copy. Same label, same casing, and it's even got the same print date, May 22nd, 1997. So I think we're done with Fun and Fancy Free. I don't have any other versions to show off. So I'm going to get in the combo pack. So I think we move straight to a different film. If it either it's animated or it's a hybrid film. It's hybrid. The next one's okay. hybrid. Because it's got live action people, but it's got animated. That's kind of like the same thing with the three caballeros, but. Yeah. I mean, I have two different copies of the 1994 Masterpiece Collection edition of So Dear to My Heart. So Dear to My Heart. I've done, This film originally came out sometime in the late 40s. Very early 1949. Okay, so this was before Adventures of Hiccup Bottom and Mr. Toad hit, well, came out originally. And this particular printing is a very interesting printing because... Um, well, since this film came out in 1949 early, they could have just put it as an anniversary in 1994. This was released October 28, 1994, originally. This has an ink label. Print date is March 18, 1996. And the interesting thing about this VHS is that it's got the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo, but it uses the 1992 distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it on this VHS. Uh, yes, that is one of the posters that my parents put up, along with uh, a few posters, like, for the Jungle Book and the Aristocats, and there's also, I also have some posters of all Sesame Street characters as well, and I also have a couple of posters of the Flintstones cast members, along with Jim Henson's and the Muppets. I think it was some poster website. Um, anyway, the interesting thing about this printing of the VHS is the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection logo using the distorted Walt Disney Classics music playing over it. I have a few other Masterpiece Collection VHS releases that also have the distorted Classics jingle playing over the Masterpiece Collection logo, like... One of my copies of my VHS of Mary Poppins has it, along with bed knobs and broomsticks. At least we can, like, when we get to those, I, I do have something to show you when we get to the Bona Vista one. I think, like, because, you know, bed knobs and broomsticks came out about a year after the Aristocats. Well, anyway. Sure, sure. I can change, change that episode name tomorrow when I'm helping you. So, anyway. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, I was you, I thought you were, NMRKP 2003's question. Okay, I thought you were because I don't put this because I'm I'm a guest in the stream, so I can't do that sort of stuff either. Here is this copy. This one has an ink label, and the print date's January 10th, 1998. Even though this is a 1996 printing of the 1994 VHS. And ju just recently, if you go to my Internet Archive account, I posted the openings to some of my Disney VHS tapes that I've had on them that I recorded with my webcam with the television on. I recorded them, and then I converted them onto video and then uploaded them to Internet Archive for people to see. I don't think I've used something like that, like an internet archive. 
Yeah, the reason why I post these openings of those tapes that on them to Internet Archive is so that I don't get a copyright strike on YouTube at all. Cause you know, I need, to, I need to try that one of these days, Flicka, because I'm just so... I'm so sick of YouTube saying copyright claim if I do an opening to a home media product. Yeah. And that's why you do not see me post VHS openings on YouTube. That's why I upload them to Internet Archive. But I would just show off the collections here on YouTube here just to be on oh. the safe side. Yep. And speaking next release, we're at Hit Ventures of Fake Bottom, Mr. Toad, released the same year as So Dear to My Heart. Released, but it released in 1949 a here. Yeah, close to Christmas, nineteen forty nine is my guess, but if it came before anniversary edition. Yep, as well, this it doesn't one, say any. This actually features the RKO logo intact on the VHS. And this was released May twenty fifth, nineteen ninety nine. And the print date is April eighth, nineteen ninety nine. This was actually the last new title to be part of the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection lineup. However, there would be two more films that would be reissued in the Walt Disney Masterpiece Collection lineup on July 13th, 1999. Those being Alice in Wonderland and Robin Hood. Yep. Okay, so I think now we move on to the night. See, if we got something of the 1940s still, but if we're not, we're moving on to the 1950s, the first view of 1950s, which starts with Cinderella. Oh, the next one, we're just going straight to 1950 with... Yep, we go straight to... I think it's going to be Cinderella, because I can tell you said Cinderella, 1950. Cinderella, 1988 VHS. I remember I used to get this copy of the VHS at a video store back in in like late 2006, early 2007, but for some reason it did not have the case for it. But when I got this VHS and got it as my own personal VHS copy back in 2014, this has a case, not just any case, but a black one. That is so cool. I'm the same thing you had your Fantasia VHS copies in a black clamshell case, but I have and, for, and my masterpiece collection edition VHS of Mary Poppins from 1997 also as a black case. And yep, yeah, there's there's the label. I can't tell if that label. Well, it's a little torn, but late, it's a little peeling away, but the tape still works. Yes, it, yes. This is actually the first tape to use the newer Walt Disney Classics logo with Sorcerer Mickey on this tape. It features the prototype Walt Disney Classics logo, where it has the background in a blue and black gradient with the diamond looking very metallic. This is the prototype version. Then there's another version that is from 1989, where this time the background would all be blue and the diamond would, would look more like a picture frame. Then there's the 1992 version where the shade of blue is much brighter and then there's another 1992 version where the music is completely distorted and heavier on bass as a result of the tape master wearing down. So these would basically be what the four versions of the Sorcerer Mickey Walt Disney Classics logo would be like. Yep, there was no print date on that tape. Because Walt, some Walt Disney Classics... Black Diamond Classics lab tapes don't put print dates on their tapes. And <laughs> over here, I also have two copies of the 1995 Masterpiece Collection Edition. There would also be the 2005 Platinum Edition VHS and DVD release and, as well. And by the way, the Classics Edition VHS was released on October 4th, 1988. And as for the Masterpiece Collection Edition, that would also be released on October 4th, but in 1995. Wow, they released seven years apart just with different border designs under different lineups. But yeah, that's the VHS of Cinderella I remember having, but I got rid of it because I realized this got released on a 4K2 along with Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Anyway, this is the 1995 Masterpiece Collection Edition.
This has the Buena Vista logo in this VHS version of Cinderella, whereas the 1988 VHS just has the Walt Disney Pictures logo. But on this Masterpiece Collection VHS, it's got the Walt Disney Pictures logo, then it has the Buena Vista logo. However, on the 1995 Laserdisc, the RKO logo is intact. And tape, ink label, print date is June 25th, 1995. And this copy has the same casing and the same label. Print date is June 27, 1995. All right, and yeah, the, you, I know you don't have the direct to home media sequels either, Flicka, Cinderella 2, Dreams Come True, and Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time, which there's another rare instance of a VHS from 2007 that's also rare, like the Cars 2007 VHS. The Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time VHS alone from 2007 on VHS is also rare. Yes. I, I don't, you probably don't have the two Cinderella animated sequels yet. The, the sequel Dreams Come True from 2002 and A Twist in Time from 2006 slash 2007. And, uh... But, but I'm actually shocked that Disney did make an animated direct-to-home media sequel in 2007. Because usually, oh, I think this, they did the same thing with Peter Pan called Return to Neverland. Well, that was in either 01 or 02 of Peter Pan Return to Neverland. Yeah, in, a, in a, like an animated sequel. And they did the same thing with the Rescuers called The Rescuers Down Under. But that and was in 19... Well, actually, The Rescuers Down Under was actually released in theaters in 1990 along with the first Rescuers, just at separate times. Yeah. The but, original but, Rescue Wars was originally released in 1990, 1977, so this would probably be, be a re-release to coincide with the Rescue Wars Down Under. But, yeah, and I know you haven't seen live-action Cinderella from 2014 either, but I'm probably not going to see that 2014 live-action Cinderella because the animated one from, is still the best. Now... So I think we're done There's with two different copies of the classics edition of Alice in Wonderland, 1988 the only, VHS. The only VHS version I have is the masterpiece version. What? But yeah, I show the Black Diamond Classics version first. And yet, yeah, something I'll bring with Alice in Wonderland. Also, there's a Tim, there's a Johnny Depp live action version, which I, I don't think I want to see that. I don't want to see either versions of Alice in Wonderland. I dislike because. Because this one is less scary than the Johnny Depp one. Um, well, I'm not quite sure. Maybe in the summer I will do one. Who knows when? But anyway, this is this was originally from 1951, and here's a crazy story. You know, one day I actually went to the movie theater, and I actually saw Alice through the Looking Glasses which was the remake music with music composed by Danny Elfman. And then later on the same day, I went to my grandparents' house, and then I watched the original Alice in Wonderland from 1951 there while I was having a sleepover. So I've seen both versions on one day, for, interestingly enough. And between that and... The remake, I'm going to say the original is the best. Yeah, I've not seen one first glimpse of the minutes of the Johnny Depp live-action version at all. Label, print dates July 13th, 1988. And... Here's this copy.
Label print date is March 6th, 1991. Just holding my only VHS of Alice in Wonderland I have. I'm probably going to get the anniversary Blu-ray soon. I also have the same edition, which I'm also going to get. Well, I... Here's my yep. copy of the Masterpiece Collection Edition. Yep, and I know, yes, I think all these ones, they forget to keep saying what, how, what number these anime films are. I think this this one would be Disney's what? Because I know... This is actually Disney's 13th. So 13th, so, so 15th would be Lady and the Tramp. Well, it would say so because we're, we're going to show that in the next this part. This is the 1994 Masterpiece Collection Edition, originally released on October 28th of 1994. Mine's a 95 reprint. And mine's a 96 reprint. It's in a very bold text of day after Valentine's Day 1995. I'll just say this. This is my printing of after Valentine's Day 1995. February 15th, 1995, then... Yes, yes. I'll just say this the day after my Valentine's copy, Day night. My copy is printed on September 28th, 1996. So that is about that is about 10 years and 2 days before my brother was born. And also weeks before the Toy Story VHS release came out. Yes. Cuz it came out October 24th, 1996 that VHS release of Toy Story, which I know October 29th. Or October 29th, actually. So, up so right, right, right. So, so a month and a day on that. Well, and yeah, and I also don't have the Blu-ray of Alice in Wonderland, so this is the only version of Alice in Wonderland. But if you have something else of Alice in Wonderland to show, I have the 1999 VHS release to show you as well. And this is the 1999 VHS release. The, the Masterpiece Collection second edition release. It, and that picture of Alice looks different from the Masterpiece Collection from 1994, but this is the second edition. Yeah, even that picture of Alice looking all surprised that she's falling at something. It's also used on the back cover of the Blu ray anniversary version from 2016, which I don't have yet. This was released July 13, 1999. And print date is June 8, 1999. And both the 1994 and 1999 VHS tapes, they have the RKO logo intact. And, oh yeah. So, right, we're, we're that close to Peter Pan, so we just got to keep looking at... Or if we're already done with Alice in Wonderland, then it's on to Peter Pan. Yeah, we're, we are... Moving on to Peter Pan now, so I... I do... have four different copies of the Classics Edition, plus the Classics Laserdisc, and two copies of the 1998 VHS. So why don't you show off your Classics lineup first? Because luckily the next two weeks, Flicka, because I'm doing two streams next week, and that's my pay week, so I'm doing two streams next week. So actually, so the, the last week, few days of April, but, but going into May, you can do the Bona... So that's your next two weeks to do the Bona Vista era on the third day of... I think it... Yeah, it's May 3rd. Because so I checked the calendar. Yeah, I checked the calendar. So you can do the next two Disney era home media collection streams like in the next two weeks like basically like the week after do the bona vista era and then the second week after the walt disney pictures logo era yeah um um i actually oh. like um 
I actually like them both equally the same NMRKP 2003. I know you like the 2000 version the most, but I like them both. But anyway, uh, here are my four classics edition VHS releases of Peter Pan. Here's this copy. This is from 1953 film. This also stars Catherine Beaumont, just like Alice in Wonderland, except here she voices Wendy. Oh, you're saying Catherine. You said Catherine someone is the voice of Wendy? Catherine Beaumont. Okay, not Catherine O'Hara, who does Kate McAllister in Home Alone 1 and 2. Yeah. Which came which came less than 40 years later in 1990. Because, well, anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure, that VH is first. Yes, this, as and I was saying, I, I was just... a laser disc release from 1990 to show you before we get to the 1998 VHS as well. And this copy has the most common ink label where it has the title on the left side and the classics diamond on the right side. And here's this copy. Um, yes, yes, I answered your question. I like both, uh, both versions equally the same. I know you like the 2000 version. Yes, I did answer your question, NMRKP 2003. Um, this copy has an updated label. And this has the... Classics Diamond on the left side and the title in the middle. This one is printed on black text reading April 6, 1990. And here's this one. Yep, another copy. This one has the most common ink label as well. Same thing. Yes, we know it's a. If that's a different, well, it might have a different printate. I don't know. It was printed on July tenth, nineteen ninety. Here. That's a late pressing. And it was released on September twenty first, nineteen ninety. Well, okay, that's an early pressing before it officially. Got the official print date. And here is this one. This one also is the updated label. And the print date is March 26, 1990. So this is an uh, this is one of the earliest printings to be. This is one of the earliest printings. Right, we're almost done. Well, you gotta show the laser disc. Then I show the we show the 1998 VHS. Well, well yep. we're still at the. Well, we're almost done with the classics and list. We gotta still look at the classics VHS versions first. Those are grabbing the other ones, Flick. Um, and let's see. Pops up next. Oh yeah, the laser disc. We gotta show that first. And here is the nineteen ninety laser disc. What's different about this is that the laser disc 
features the Buena Vista logo at the very end of the film. On the VHS, it does not have the Buena Vista logo at all. Even though this is actually the last film to be animated film to be part of RKO Radio Pictures. Yes, because starting with Lady the Tramp, it goes Buena Vista up to Fox and the Hound. And... So far, so good. We're we're actually did. We're just we just have a few more editions of Peter Pan to show. Then we're done with this part. All right, here I've is got 1998 masterpiece collection VHS, the fully restored version. 1998 masterpiece collection VHS to look at. Here yeah. Yeah, some people say you don't really need two copies, but I guess if one breaks, it's nice to have a backup. Yes, both of them work. Okay, so. yes, this. so this is correct. This is 14th animated Disney feature film, because the next one, Laying the Tramp, was the from the 15th one, Laying the Tramp and Beyond, they would go to Bona Vista. And... It's the fully restored 45th anniversary limited edition because it came out in 1953 in February, and this came out in March of 1998. Well, perfect to do it for its 45th anniversary in 1998. My my printing my printing says January 28th, 1998. So this was less than five months before I was born. Mine says March 2nd, 1998. That one's March second. On okay, so that was that was like three months and a couple days before I was born. And on this VHS, you see the Walt Disney Pictures logo, and then you see the film's RKO logo intact after the Walt Disney Pictures logo is shown. I think that's the only thing with Bambi, like they did the RKO Radio Pictures logo after the Walt Disney Pictures logo when you sh we showed the Bambi. 1997 VHS earlier. Oh, the 1997 Laserdisc of Bambi features the RKO logo after the Walt Disney Pictures logo, but not the VHS. Oh, oh the, the, the Laserdisc, rather. My bad. Anyway. This has the same label. Print date is March 4th, 1998. Printed a day That's after okay. its official release. Basically, opens the same way. And I think... I think that means we're done with. Uh, we're not just done with Peter Pan because well, if there's no other versions to show you for you to show, I all I've left is the Blu-ray anniversary edition from 2018. You could show that one. Yep, this is. I don't have any this more is, to show you. Yep, this is the anniversary edition of Peter Pan Blu-ray from 2018. Well, it doesn't say anywhere. They forgot to put 65th anniversary, but we know the 65th anniversary was in 2018. Oh, this is the I don't think they released this last year. I don't think they released the animated version last year for the 70th anniversary at all. But I could be wrong. And the same thing like the last year they didn't do it with Robin Hood. Did it for its 50th anniversary. But, yeah. And yet, at least this one, I think this one also has a logo they error. They did it for the Sword and the Stone for the 60th anniversary. But at least, like, the, even when Disney's 100th anniversary was last year, they just did some d selected films on 4K release. This never got a 4K, neither did Robin Hood, neither did The Sword and the Stone, and neither an Oliver and Company for when it turned 35. Oh, I'm not sure if The Jungle Book ever got a 4K release. Nope, I don't think it did. The, the live-action version, I think it, it pr pretty much did, but... But I'm but not sure not, the animated one did. Nope, and it, and neither did the animated Dumbo, but the live action one did. But I prefer the, having them next to each other, so I'm just going to get these on plain Blu ray. But yeah. Well, the six I, oh, this yeah. And it's I, got to be one of the quickest streams we have ever done. Only it's clocking about, only an uh, hour. Because we've only went for up to Snow White and Seven Dwarfs to Peter Pan. When the next two weeks flicker, we'll be doing the Bonavista Air, which goes from. Which. 
Yep. Next two weeks, we'll be doing the you. You'll be doing the Bonavista era. Oh, that's on May third, right? Yes. Yes, May third, yeah. because next the, the team two would be the watching. Wait, wait, wait. Era because I what? actually have a show to attend on May tenth for a swing show. Well, oh, well, actually, I was trying to say this, Flicka. You can actually do a, another stream, the, the Walt Disney Pictures logo era, on on May 10th, because that's that's the... Because, like I said, May... It, you can actually do the eras on two the, the next two weeks after. Next, Buena Vista, and then the second week after, Walt Disney Pictures logo era, so then we have to go... We'll leave the Pixar one for the right. next two... So, yeah, I think that means we're done, and... Oh, we're, and we, we might actually combine uh we might actually combine both part two and part three separately on May third because I have a show to attend on May tenth. Well, I mean like I'll try you have a thing on on the day of May tenth. On the, your your event attending an event on May tenth and you've so I guess like you have to combine the the two the next two parts in the next two weeks. That's what yeah. you're trying to say because you have the thing on May 10th. So luckily I know what I'm doing. So by the way, I'm saying like we chat for like a few more to just explain what's coming so up that in means the earlier in the day. I will do part two, and then later in the day I will do part three. So basically, what we'll have to do on May 3rd is basically well because I want to be able to still join those. Yes, May 2nd. Well, on May 3rd, Part 2, the Bonavista era, part and Part 3, combining the Walt Disney Pictures logo era as well. But, yes, Pixar will be included in its own thing. Yeah. Which, I only have two Pixar films on VHS, which are Toy Story and A Bug's Life. But I do have two stuff of Pixar on VHS, which are Monsters, Inc. and Finding Nemo, but I also have them on Blu-ray... And I, well, and, and another thing planning ahead, it's 9.48, a.k.a. close to 10 till 9 in your area. So, because I do have a, I do have a cool surprise to show you That's when we get to, close. well, when we get to part two on May 3rd, plus do May, part three as well. Because, like I said, I'm just doing one stream on April 29th, the Hangout stream. So, like, if you just want me to... Yeah, I guess I could just take your substitute place on May uh, 10th, if that's fine. I can take your substitute place. Sure, that, sure. You are more than welcome to do that, because I will be way too busy to do a stream anyway. Because there's a long swing show that will be on rehearsed for Friday, May 10th, and Saturday, May 11th. Okay, so th this means for, and also like May 17th, we'll be doing the Pixar era, hopefully. Yes, 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 so we're definitely going to do that. So hopefully like playing out the times for May 3rd, what time should we do the Bonavista era that in part 3 do the Walt Disney Pictures logo era? Uh, May 3rd? May 3rd? Sometime maybe around... New for the second part. Hmm. Unfortunately, that's a problem, Flicka, because I'm I, I'm at I'm gonna be at work that day. That's a big problem. That's a teeny tiny little problem. That's oh. a really big. That's a problem, Flicka, because noon. Well, basically noon in your area. That'd be two p.m. in my area, and I won't be able to get. I won't be off oh. in time. What What time do you think works best for you? Basically, I think maybe around, oh, I don't know, 7, maybe do 7.30, we'll do Bona Vista era. And I just have to depend because I have to make sure all my family members are upstairs or I think like maybe 7.30 in the Friday after do Bona Vista. And then if we finish that in time, we do the, the Walt Disney Pictures logo era because luckily... Those ones do not include like bonuses, like 3D animated Disney films. Like the first 3D animated Disney regular Walt Disney animated film was Chicken Little, but I don't have that. So I think from like the Black Cauldron onwards, we just we just do only 2D animated feature films. Like yes, or unless you just want to show like ones that did get a 
Like, just basically show only ones with 2D animated features, not 3D animated ones from Chicken Little up to these ones. Yeah. Uh, well, so anyway. when you're saying like, 7.30, are you saying, like, the evening? Yes, yes, 7.30 p.m., my time. Okay. So, well, well, we'll just... Take your time. Well, I mean, it, it could... It could probably go fast because, like we said, don't show any, don't explain any previews because that takes too long because that just drags it along. And okay, okay, I'm, so I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, so I'll just work, then we could do part three and part four on the seventeenth. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I think that now that we got this out of the way, I'm just going to go ahead and leave Flicka since if you want me to just go ahead and leave since we finished the collection, well, part one. I hope you enjoyed part one of this stream. Stay tuned for other videos coming soon. Be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss any videos.